We're back to Cougar Paws. I'm your host, Michael Dawes. We're discussing renovation celebration happening August 12th, uh, and we're discussing that with Darnell Holopair, Elaine Simmons, and Mary Hester. And Mary referred to the community room in the Learning Resource Center and threw that uh, information uh, toward Darnell, so we're going to let her start this segment off. Uh, I noticed that uh, there's a room named the Plaza de Cavanaugh Community Room. Can you explain to listeners what that room is and how it will be used? Sure, Mike. Well, first of all, you know, uh, we're talking about the library uh, building and several other facilities have been 40 years old. So as the planning committee continued to work on all of the renovations, they were looking for the next 40 years. And one of the things that we had to look at is trying to get our community people to come out to use our services. And so, uh, as you well know, many of the things that have been done in the Learning Resource Center came from private funds from wonderful donors. And they had an opportunity as we were going out and securing funds to have naming rights. And uh, the Plaza uh, de Cavanaugh community room was um, named after Jean Cavanaugh's family. And so this room uh, is going to be used for community things. There won't be any regular meetings in there, but we're hoping that our professional business people will use this for a day-long seminar or uh, if we have people coming on campus from the Board of Regions or uh, Tech Ed or whatever, this is going to be one of those rooms that are a little bit more special. It'll never be used for a classroom, but we do have the facilities for computer services and so forth. But it's, it's a room that uh, Jean and her family wanted to share with uh, not only the college but the community so uh, we hope that people after our uh, renovation celebration will make arrangements to come and use that facility for their purposes but along with that we've had several other wonderful naming um, donors and so we will have plaques up that day and they can come and see and of course I, I would be remiss if I didn't say and there's still room for more donations so we hope once people see uh, whether it is in uh, the area of technical ed or the learning resource center we hope folks really look at those items and say you know I want to contribute uh, Barton has made the statement that they're going to, to move on into the future for the next 40, 80 years and be very progressive. So we need to be progressive in our facilities and uh, in our commi commitment to the, the students of Barton. Okay, and along with the public events happening August 12th, there's an array of other uh, invitation events that are going on, uh, particularly with your area, Elaine. You have uh, industry leaders coming to observe facilities. Uh, including leaders associated with Case New Holland, which I know you're really excited to bring that group in. Can you provide us an overview of what's going to happen with that? Uh, basically, we're offering what we call specialty receptions for our four um, industry areas, uh, the nursing and the Case New Holland, the agriculture and the automotive, and we've extended special invitations to key people involved in those programs, such as advisory board members. Uh, you mentioned Case New Holland. We're very pleased to have representatives from headquarters out of Racine, Wisconsin, coming for the day uh, to, to celebrate with us. Um, other individuals that, um, through their involvement in the industry, their interest in education, and, and quite frankly, employers who have a vested interest in the to-be applicants uh, that we'll be sending their way have spent enormous amounts of time and money with us in helping us make sure that our curriculums and our programs are cutting edge, that they deliver uh, applicants with the skill sets and the abilities that they desire when they are sitting down and interviewing them. And so we want to celebrate with these individuals, these folks that, that I consider to be owners uh, of these programs, and without them, we would simply be doing what we think is best, which we all know is not the best way of providing career technical training. We need to hear from those leaders in those industries to tell us what is needed today, and then we need to adapt our curriculum as such. So we're hopeful that, that they'll come and they'll celebrate with us. We'll have some munchies. Uh, we'll look at the new facilities. We'll shake hands and we'll smile and laugh and we'll celebrate a lot of hard work that has been done by a lot of people beyond the folks here at the college. So how big of an opportunity is this for you in an online and, and social networking world? You now get these groups of people in your environment, in your trenches, so to speak, face to face. Anytime we have an opportunity to talk with the public, whether they represent a, a business or industry or they're a community member with a genuine um, 
interest in, in learning and education is a golden opportunity for us. We cannot do what we come to work to do every day without our constituents, without our partners. Uh, relationships and partnerships are what we talk about every day here at the college. Uh, it's, it's one of my guiding missions as I work with the Workforce Division in finding how we can work together. Um, joining arms with Darnell and, and working with the folks that, that, that are good to the institution by their way of donations. Um, it's just priceless, Mike. There really is it's no other way to describe it. We cannot do it without them. Mike, we have donors coming for this event when we talk about celebration. You know, many of these donors have waited at least four or five years to see this really happen. I have uh, donors coming from Colorado, from Texas, uh, many places here in Kansas. You know, these folks that have lived and made their living here in our region really understand how important Barton Community College is to all of us. Uh, Elaine's alluded to how important it is to business and industry. But those folks, even though they've moved away from here, they have put their money where their mouth is, I guess is what you'd say, and they have donated. We have an uh, automotive classroom being named. Uh, so there are uh, many opportunities for them to come back and truly celebrate with us. Okay. And, and Mike, I know we're, we're short on time and this probably is a different program, but just to, to maybe give the audience just a little bit more of an indication of how important these partnerships are, um, advisory board members. All of our programs have advisory boards. We have a program right now that, that, that we're unable to fill. And because of advisory board members that believe in what we do here, uh, they're stepping up and they're going to help us teach classes. And, and quite the opportunity for students to be in the classroom with people that are doing these things every day in their industry. So this is an important day and this is an important moment in the history of this institution. Check out Barton's website, bartonccc.edu. There's plenty of information and a short schedule. With that, this is Michael Dawes saying so long for Cougar Paws. Mm -hmm.